All right, welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. We pick up with football. Carabao Cup first leg semi-final action got on the way earlier on Tuesday with championship outfit Middlesbrough hosting Premier League side Chelsea at the Riverside Stadium in a game shown live on Sportsmax 2. Here are the highlights. Madawake seeing quite a lot of the ball down this right-hand side for Chelsea. He's skipped round Clark and he's found a gap. Madawake. And that is a crucial touch. I think it was from Dale Fry. Palmer. Lifted in there and glanced over the top by Levi Colwell. Oh, Housen's gifted it straight to Cole. Palmer! And somehow he has missed. He has impressed and probably the pick of Middlesbrough signings this summer. Here's Jones. Can he get the ball right? Coburn's up there with him and Hackney's arriving! Ball on a yellow card. And just the fact that they spin a ball into that channel, knowing that Isaiah Jones has got pace, he's got ability. And he does brilliantly, he really does. It's a great cutback, but you have to credit the fact that Hayden Hackney makes the decision to go and get into the box, be the second striker. Nick. That's a good challenge from Caicedo. Palmer, he's the furthest man forward, bringing Madweke into play. Madweke lashes it wide. Caicedo, what a ball. It's Cole Palmer, surely this time. Glover makes the save. Colwell. Enzo Fernandez. It's a good looking cross. Madueke's header. Madueke, Gallagher, and Sterling in the middle. It'll come in now from Gusto. It's a poor cross, but breaks kindly for Gallagher. One step closer. It is advantage Middlesbrough in the race for Wembley. A win on the night, given to them by Hayden Hackney. <laughs> Whoa, I'm still trying to get over those missed chances from Chelsea. Team, Ricardo, you go first. Well, when you're an average team, you produce average results. And that's uh -huh. what we've seen from Chelsea this entire campaign. It's difficult to ask a team that does not have the quality all round to consistently produce high quality performances by the way I, I think chelsea will reach the afl cup final so i think they will turn this result around when they yeah. get to stamford bridge for the second leg well you have to say that there's a big chelsea fan standing in front of you oh that that's fine that doesn't matter really okay, okay. neither the fan nor yeah. um, chelsea. chelsea oh my <laughs> i even made the comment off air that lance could score that with his injured leg eh? yeah. so many missed chances and, and here's the deal the, the truth is maybe cut Cole Palmer some slack. He's been in fabulous form this season for Chelsea. Maybe the, the one shining light in front of goal, eight goals, four assists in the Premier League. Um, today had a couple of opportunities that on another day he would have put away quite comfortably. On another day, Cole Palmer would have scored a double and Chelsea would have won this game today. Yeah. Not the case. Um, but you have to believe that as inconsistent as they have been this campaign they have the beating of this Middlesbrough team and when they go to Stamford Bridge they have more than enough to turn it around that that's just the way I see it I can't see Chelsea not going on to win this tie yeah the second leg will be very yeah, different I, I, I would think that Chelsea will correct you know what went wrong today for them because today was an absolute shocker you know, Middlesbrough were without 12 of their first team players today. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a short-staffed Middlesbrough team. But, but Lance, it's the same thing that has been going wrong for the entire campaign. Yes. They don't put away enough of their chances the is, on days the when chances. they create them. Yeah. Today, they created so many, Lance yeah. and Mariah. Yeah. And mm. as I said, chances on another on another day, this could have been 4-1 comfortably. Yeah. Um, today, it ends up being 1-0 mm -hmm. for Middlesbrough. Yeah, well, but well, well, two things. The, the Middlesbrough effort today was, uh, was described as a counter-attacking masterclass because that's... That's what they did today. The they soaked up pressure, team. defended as best as they it's could. It's only a masterclass because they ended up winning. Though. Well, that's why it's <laughs> described as a masterclass because they no, won. No, but they did not prevent Chelsea from creating clear-cut opportunities. 
So I'm not sure if I would call it a masterclass. Yeah, but, yes, but you walk away with but, but, it. But some of the Chelsea missed chances were good goalkeeping no. that stopped them. That's no. what I wanted at, to at say. Least a few of them. No. So Can you please show us the chances again? Those, 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 most of those were poor finishing and nothing to do with high quality goalkeeping. I think it went down to high quality goalkeeping because there were so many chances. Can we there were, see there... a couple of those chances, please? Did what? you see that last one? Just now, have a look, have a have a. Well, no, that's not a good example. Look, that doesn't count. <laughs> let's have, no, let's there, have there, a look there, at there, this. There, there, there were a few. few. There were a few. Cole that's, Palmer scores exactly, that the goalkeeper eight goes times in the right out place. of ten. No, yeah, but that's that, way too close to the goalkeeper. That should be curling around him. But it didn't. And even if he comes up with the save, it should be a significantly uh, tougher save than so, that. So, so that's a poor finish. Okay, so Michael Carrick's coaching um, acumen mm -hmm. doesn't get in the stripes for this for this result. It's a good result, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes we shouldn't fool ourselves by thinking. Okay, so maybe that was the best way for Middlesbrough to survive. They went out there, um, they got men behind the ball, yeah. and as much as possible, they tried to stop Chelsea. The point I'm making is Chelsea still created good enough chances that if you that have decent strikers, yeah. you put those away yeah, and you win this game. Yeah, so that's not in dispute. So you I think the, the loss came down to Chelsea's own doing? Like yeah. it had nothing to do with Middlesbrough playing a good it game? It had less to do with Middlesbrough's tactics and more to do with Chelsea's lack of quality in front of goal. I don't think I could argue too much against that, but I think I'm giving Middlesbrough a little bit more credit than Ricardo is giving them because yeah. they worked really hard today. With, <laughs> with, with, a, with, with a short with a staff team, with a short staff team, Can they you? all work really hard, Lance. Huh? They all work really hard. <laughs> Chelsea it, worked really hard today too. They just lacked the quality to put the chances away. All right, so a one-nil win there for Middlesbrough against Chelsea. All right, our producer is saying we need to take a quick break, but we're coming right back. We still have to continue. We have a lot more in store just for you. <laughs> 